Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing Caden Live tutorial series, today I'm going to be showing you how to get free audio and video directly from Caden Live. Now, this is a feature that has been around for a while, but it's one that I think most people would miss, I myself included, because I really didn't even know that it was there. So if you go here to add clips, just choose this drop down, you'll notice some familiar options. But you'll also notice another option called online resources. So if you click on this, you have three different options for service. One from free sound audio library, another from archive.org video, and then the third one from open clip art graphic library. But I don't think this website or service is available anymore. So there's no images here. So you could basically just get audio and video. So if you start with the audio from free sound, just type in what you want to look for. And then you do a search and it might take a second or two. And now here's all the available sounds. Now you could actually look at all the details that they have for each sound. And once it loads up, you can preview it. So let me show you an option right here. Let's do this train horn and bell. Okay. So it's about 3.7 megs. Let's go ahead and preview this. That you could actually use and the other important detail here is it also has the license as well so in this case if you click on this all of these are creative commons pretty much and you have to actually give attribution for this one so you must give appropriate credit if you use this in your videos so be sure that you actually read the license information uh, some of these you can use fully like this one if you actually click on this Creative Commons Zero, no problem, you can use this for whatever you want. This is public domain. So be sure to read the actual license information before you use this for your video. Now, I like this train horn and bell. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to import this. So you click on import. Now, the thing here that's kind of weird is it doesn't import the actual file name and extension. You have to put in a name yourself, plus you have to put in an extension. So this is kind of the part where I don't like because I'm not really sure, like for some files, what the actual file type is. And so what I normally do is I just go ahead and import it first. And it might take a little bit of time for you to actually download this. And once it's done, it'll say OK. And it actually imports this directly into your project. Now, if you actually wanted to see the actual file extension, you have to go into your folder you downloaded that, and you could right click and do properties. So it's kind of cumbersome to do it this way, but it is an MPEG file. So you could actually change the extension type right here. Just rename it, and it'll have the correct extension. Okay, but in this case, it's already imported into your Caden Live project. So that's okay for how it is right now. Now let's go ahead and add a video as well. So let's go ahead and look for a train and we can kind of mix and match this if you like. So let's see, how about this one? And these are older and so it might not be the best uh, video and audio, but in some cases it might be something that you can use and it's really easy to use. Now some of these, they don't have a preview. Uh, but some of these do. So let me see if I could find one with the preview. Let's see if there anything shows up. And okay. So this one kind of has a preview. You can kind of see it there. But you can't preview the video here. Uh, but you can actually download the file uh, once it actually loads. So there, there's a video. And so here you have a couple options. At least here it tells you the different file types. And so I want to actually import this out video format so I'll call this train video and in this case since I know the extension for this one I just put dot OGG and then you say open and it's downloading it and there it is now the video is right here so let me show you the open clip art just to show you at this service. I don't think 
exist anymore. So there's nothing there. So now we actually have our video and audio. So we could actually drag this down to our project and you could test it out. So that works as it should. Same thing with the actual train. Bring your train sound here. And there it is, you know, it's very simple. Uh, but the great thing is uh, this service, it is easy to use. It's integrated into Caden Live. And as I said, uh, the selection for the video and audio, uh, it's not the best. But at the same time, it's an easy way for you to get these clips. You can see the details and you can actually look at the license attribution as well. And so if you needed some additional clips for a variety of different things, uh, this is, in my opinion, a very good resource to have that's already built into this actual program. So those are my thoughts on how you could actually get free audio and video directly through Caden Live. If you have any thoughts on this or maybe any of your own other places where you like to get free audio or video or images, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you actually didn't want to see my entire Caden Live tutorial series, I do have a playlist. I will also leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.